These are Olivia Pope and company's most sexy, erotic, and or sensual moments. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 steamiest scandal moments. For this list, we're focusing on the most jaw-dropping sex scenes involving Kerry Washington's dramatic character and others in the political thriller series. Do what you have to do. Because I'm not gonna stop until I have answers. Number 10, Caught in the Act, Sweet Baby. You left me. Because you are married. Because you said you wanted to try to dedicate yourself to your marriage because you are the leader of the free world and I wanted you to be a better man. Kicking off our list is this tense but undeniably sexy moment between Olivia and Fitz. Talented as Olivia may be, she has a way of talking a bit too much at times, but Fitz knows how to ease her anxiety. <laughs> I believed you. You clouded my judgment. You made me mistrust my gut because I wanted to believe you. I destroyed that girl. She tried to kill herself. No, there's no shower sex in this moment, or even a well-placed pop song, but it sets off the central narrative as Cyrus learns of Olivia's firm hold on the prez. These two just can't contain themselves, even in the White House, and their lust ultimately becomes the primary source for happiness, pain, and certainly plenty of scandal. I just want to say that we can hear you screaming. Number 9. Quality Time with Fitz and Jake, an Innocent Man In the opening minutes of the episode, a dreaming Olivia is taking a calming dip when she loses herself in a steamy and psychosexual moment. In real life, she's caught up in a bit of a love triangle, and her two love interests unsurprisingly find their way into the lucid dream, and with good reason too, at least considering the endless drama between Jake and Fitz. Makes me feel In this erotic scenario, both men explore Olivia's body, complete with some heavy eye contact and sweet caresses. It's a temporary moment of relief for Olivia, yet her buzzkill father shows up to bring Olivia back to reality. My god, Olivia. Wake up. <gasps> Number 8. Stop Walking Hunting Season And I don't appreciate being summoned. Get out of the car. Why, so you can shoot me? Get out of the damn car, Olivia! Thanks to a stolen surveillance program called Thorngate, President Fitz has more than enough drama on his plate. Adding to his stress is the fact that he's somewhat of an awkward hunter, and his anxiety shows during an outdoor excursion with Olivia. I am angry because you're committing treason. I am angry that you're behaving like a traitor to your country. To my country or to you? Oh, come on, this isn't personal. But despite their spirited convo about terrorism, there's some underlying romance that needs to be addressed. And Fitz revelations lead to some outdoor PDA, with the Secret Service paying proper respect. Given the setting and unresolved issues, however, Fitz is left alone to think about what could have been, or maybe could be. Even so, the tree kiss is romantic and steamy. <sighs> Number 7. Afternoon Delight Randy, Red, Super Freak, and Julia. Yesterday, my life was filled with rain. In the season 4 premiere, Olivia is now going by the name Julia Baker in Zanzibar and living it up with her beloved Jake. In fact, she's so relaxed that she's about to indulge in Gillian Flynn's Gone Girl. Sunny one so true, I love you. Hi. Hi. But once Jake shows up with a big smile, Olivia trades literature for some beach romance, and her man takes full control of the situation. They've got 15 minutes to enjoy themselves, and Jake acts like a true gentleman by posing a practical question, which Olivia quickly answers. It's about 15 minutes out. You want to use those 15 minutes? And so, Jake guides the steamy moment leading to a little afternoon delight for both parties. Don't stop. Number 6. No one will ever ride you like I do. Pencils down. What's up, Liv? What do you want? By season 5, Olivia has plenty of dirt on her man Jake, and she understands that information is power. Not only does Olivia use her words to frustrate Mr. Ballard, but she also gets all up in his physical space, and you better believe that Jakey is about to ride. Incidentally, Olivia reminds him of a few basic facts about her, um, personal and professional abilities. I'm just a twisted sociopath who takes whatever she wants, no matter who gets bulldozed along the way. 
And so while Jake doesn't receive the sexual healing he anticipates, he does receive yet another lesson in the ways of Miss Olivia Pope. She means business, and she knows how to manipulate these types of steamy moments to her advantage. I will win. Number 5. I wanted you to see the dream. Vermont is for lovers too. You know everything. Not everything. Everything I could legally tell you. You know who I am and you're just this bundle of dirty little secrets. Olivia Pope is a busy woman and so is the President of the United States. So when they manage to sneak off to Vermont in season 3, you know they're going to work things out, so to speak. But there's significance to the location as it represents a dream they once had. This is where you're staying? No. It's not really ready to live in. Needs a good cleaning. With the sounds of Bill Withers playing over the scene, the two share a moment of sexual pleasure as the Kyoto Scuro lighting reminds of their dark and bright history. They don't need to worry about any interruptions, and they get it on like they're the last lovers alive. Number 4. Mr. President Happy Birthday, Mr. President! Look around you, look where we are. This can't happen, not anymore. <sighs> After President Fitz takes a literal bullet to the head, Olivia reflects on his first days in the office and the progression of their romance. And so, the actual Oval Office functions as more than just a place of professional business in this scene, as it serves as a unique spot for the lovers to conduct some personal business. You're the most important person in my life. I can't just stop. Given the unbuckling of the president's pants and Olivia's moaning, it's clear what transpires next, but Scandal keeps it classy with the steamy insinuations. In one of the series' pivotal episodes, this sexual encounter sheds light on the character's erotic backstory and kept loyal fans talking around the water cooler. Number 3. Their First Time – The Trail In Scandal's first throwback episode, Olivia's first sexual encounter is detailed in full. Given the context, there's an obvious amount of tension, with both her and Fitz coming to the realization that it just may be the time. Thanks to some precision editing and a moody score, there's almost a softcore element to the scene, complemented by the aggressive foreplay. All in all, the moment has the necessary eroticism to spark the character's love story, as both Olivia and Fitz come to grips with their obvious chemistry and submit themselves to the passion they want and need. <sighs> Number 2. Fitz chooses and earns Olivia in the shower. A woman scorned. Hi. Hi. Near the conclusion of season 2, the clock is ticking for Mr. Fitz, and it's time to make a decision about his turbulent love life. Given Olivia's reaction, it's clear that an epic love scene will follow, and it comes later on as Melly gives a prime time interview. I just want to ask the American people tonight in advance for their understanding and their forgiveness. It's one of the more erotic love scenes that you'll see on network television, as Olivia and Fitz don't mess around whatsoever. To top it off, Fitz gets all romantic in the shower during the final scene, which means the world for Olivia. Of course, we can't forget about their steamy season 4 moment, which solidified their legacy when it comes to erotic primetime shower scenes. You are beautiful. I love you. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Number 1. Electrifying the Electrical Room – Whiskey Tango Foxtrot For Olivia and Fitz, there's not always time to choose the ideal place for a quickie. Sometimes passion takes over. It's one of the more spontaneous scandal moments, as the two lovers submit themselves to the moment. 
<laughs> In other words, the scene is lit, and the close-up visual suggests that both Liv and Fitz receive the expected sexual gratification. Whereas some love scenes are brief and romantic, this one is a bit more substantial and sexualized. We don't know Do you agree with our list? Focus. Let's just give it a sec. What? Wait. What do you think is the steamiest scandal moment? I made a mistake. We both did. For more passionate top tens published daily, be sure to subscribe to Ms. Mojo. I've never had sex on top of a piano. <laughs> Cold? Mmm, slippery. I'll get a blanket. <laughs>